Thank you. Congestion in the GTA costs us $6 billion a year. We know that. Back in 1860, when we started building transit, this was our internet. And this was state-of-the-art transit. It remained state-of-the-art transit for most of the 20th century. In the 21st century, we need to be looking at transit needs for, now, for the entire city now as well as in the future. We need to look at the most current transit technologies and construction techniques. The plan for the downtown relief line is almost identical to the one from 1985. This makes the plan more than some are soon to be replaced streetcars. There are two areas in the downtown core where transit congestion is going to be a serious problem in the near future. This plan addresses the problem at the Glory Down subway station, where it does not address this. Not that long ago, Go Transit operated eight car trains on its seven lines. Now the minimum train size is a 10 car train. Platforms are being extended to fit 12 car trains. Trains will be 50% longer than just two years ago. Train frequency continues to increase. The seven rail lines are being extended farther outside the city and resulting in more passengers. The airport rail link goes into service in 2015. As a result, Union Station is expected to be at capacity or exceed capacity by 2031 as well. Metrolinx is looking at a secondary downtown GO station. The station is likely to be at the Bathurst North Guard near Spadina. We need underground transit to get people to and through the lower downtown core. We have two downtown cores, the one we've got now and the lower one. However, this cannot be based on a 1985 vision for the city alone. It needs to reflect the realities of what Toronto looks like today and what it looks like in the, what its future needs are likely to be. It needs to fit within the transit plans and needs to fit the entire city. <coughs> Right now, there's our five busiest lines. In the transit city plan, the one city plan, the big move, all of them have buses on Don Mills being replaced with an LRT line. The York region, York region is also looking at building an LRT line south on west of Don Mills, and eventually connected to the Don Mills subway station. It would appear that none of these Ontario communities have yet to receive the memo telling them that they're not world class cities because they are building LRTs and not subways. Just because it looks like a subway doesn't mean it's a subway. It's called the downtown relief line, but it need not be a traditional subway. We should be looking at the Edmonton Crosstown as a design model. Underground where it needs to be, and on the surface where there's room. It should be part of a seamless rail network to all parts of Toronto. This network should also connect to the GTHA and potentially their LRTs. Having an uptown, midtown, and downtown LRTs will stop politicians from coming and screaming that if downtown is getting a subway, then I want one too. Remember, a four car Metrolinx Flexi Freedom LRT train has the same potential carrying capacity as a six car T1 series subway train. Thank you. Great, thank you very much for your deputation. And are there any questions of the deputy? <coughs> None. Thank you very much. I think if I've got, uh, I'm looking at my list correctly, uh, Sharon, uh, yes.